Hi, how you doing? Justin here with another quick tip for you. And this one is please take care of your posture while you're playing. Now, this is one of those tips I wish somebody had told me about when I was growing up and playing guitar a lot. I guess there was nobody around to see it because I was sitting in my room myself, uh, you know, on my own playing guitar and practicing guitar. And uh, uh, one of the things that I still have, I still got a bit of a, a funny neck, one of my vertebrae is funny. Almost certainly from sitting there, I used to sit and practice on the bed like this with the music or the sheet music book here on the, next to my bed. So when you, when you do this and you kind of twist your neck around, your, your neck, your spine is kind of twisted around and bent over. It's like the worst thing that you can possibly do to your spine is, is sitting there when you're playing, looking like this. And the same for beginners when they do this and they crane their neck, their, their, their spine is kind of folded over and twisted on the end looking down at the guitar neck. It's really, it, you know, it's, it's fine to do it quickly, but it's not a good position if you're sitting there like that, practicing for half an hour. You know, you're really going to, you, you could end up with some bad back issues. And, and uh, the first part of th this problem is very easily solved, and that is a music stand, right? So uh, all, all of these, you know, the neck problems that I've had over the years would have all been solved if I had have used a music stand. Actually, I think I had one. I just didn't use it. I think my parents bought me one. I've got a music stand actually here right to, in front of me. I don't know if you guys never get to see the music stand, but I have a music stand sitting uh, just on the floor. Uh, now, having a music stand straight away means that I'm kind of, I'm able to sit upright with my, you know, sit up straight like mummy told you, you know, that's, that's important too, you know, that sitting there hunching like that's not really not good for your shoulders. So sitting up straight is a really, really good idea. Having the music stand in front of me means that I'm not having to crane my neck much. Now, for those of you that are really worried about lo looking at your hand, especially when you're doing kind of intensive technique exercises, there's a big temptation to be looking around on it like this, you know, and again, you're do doing some funny stuff to your neck. The solution for that is using a mirror. Now, I did, however, even though I used to crane my neck a bit like this, looking at sheet music books, uh, once I started practicing a lot, I ended up sitting at a desk a lot of the time, and what I used to do is I had a little, uh, my dad's shaving mirror that had a little kind of fold back thing. I used to sit that on the desk so I could be looking forward and it would show me exactly what my hand was doing. And that's kind of important as well because one of the things that you, you don't always see the right angle when you look at it, your hand like that, it's kind of deceptive. So having a mirror that's pointing more or less straight at your hand that you can then look at give you a lot clearer indication of how your posture is anyway for your, for your hand and how, you, how you're doing with your fretting. So, you know, if, you, if you're uh, thinking that, you know, having to crane your neck over to look at your hand in that way is, uh, is, is, is important for your technique, it, you know, it can be kind of useful, but having a mirror there is a much, much better idea. Um, I don't often practice with a strap when I'm, when I'm playing like this. I, I probably should. Um, if you like practicing with your strap lower down, you definitely might want to check out one of those kneel chairs, all those kneeling chairs, stool things, where you sit and you kind of, instead of all of the weight going onto your bum, it's going onto your knees, and you kind of sit there a little bit further forward. And it means that for those guys that like their guitar a little lower, you know, or that want to practice with a strap, that can be a really good thing. Um, so I definitely recommend that. Um, if you do find yourself with some neck uh, problems, uh, one thing that I would recommend is going to see an osteopath. Um, I, for a few years I was going to see a chiropractor who was doing all of that funny neck clicking stuff and I really didn't get on with it. And now uh, I go to see an osteopath uh, and generally I go a couple of times a year and they seem to sort it out for a longer period. It's not like the chiropractor thing where it was every week for several weeks and quite a lot of expense as well. Uh, so, uh, you know, going to see a specialist that, that deals with musicians in London. If you happen to live in London, um, I go to the British Academy of Performing Arts Medicine, or BAPAM, B-A-P-A-M. I'll put a link in the, on the website where, on, the, on this video uh, page. Uh, you know, the, uh, and they're really good because they know exactly the problems that you, ha that you get through. Because it's not just having the bad uh, posture, too. The fact that we're sitting like, in, in a particular way and using our muscles can lead to kind of you know, your spine being a little bit weird. So, but at least if you take care of it, you know, it, it, it's a really, it can be a really big deal. And it, it, it takes a little bit of thought and conscious, trying to get out of the habit of sitting like this when you play, you know. Uh, one of my bad habits, I very often cross my leg over, you know, when I'm, when I'm practicing, because it seems to fit the guitar into, you know, at a nice height for me. But I'm told that's a bad habit. I still do it sometimes. But definitely, you know, having your feet flat on the floor, um, 
I always tend to find a, a seat that's low enough as well. I don't like the ones that are really high because then I end up kind of having to move my foot at a funny angle to kind of get the guitar feeling snug. So, you know, having a lower down seat is a good idea as well, I think. Um, there are... Uh, I think that's about all of the tips for you. Oh, and the other, actually, there's one more, uh, which was the shoulders relaxing thing. A lot of times when people get tense, they do this, and it you know, causes all sorts of tension. And tension is the enemy, really, when it comes to you know, guitar playing in general. You want to try and be re as relaxed as you can for everything. So uh, you know, that's just one to, to, to watch out for. A lot of people feel like their shoulders are relaxed, but then if you push them down and then relax them, they stay there. So that's uh, one little tip for relaxing your shoulders is to push them down as far as you can go and then relax. You probably won't find they spring up, but you might be able to convince yourself that your shoulders are relaxed when they're quite high up where they've got quite a lot to go before they're going to relax. So uh, there's one other little tip for you. But just if you're aware of it and you kind of think like, oh, my back feels funny like this, try and find a better way to sit, you know. And definitely, you know, sitting up straight is, is an important one. Not craning your neck. That's the biggest, if you only get one thing from this video, it's don't be doing this, you know, or that, you know. I, I mean, I feel it now. As soon as I did that, it was like, oh, my back's going, <laughs> bad idea, you know. So uh, just be aware of your posture. And if you need to, go and see, you know, go and see an osteopath or a specialist uh, who's involved with, you know, musicians and find out the the, the right way to, to sit. I'm trying to remember that... Uh, Ah, uh, there's a method as well where they... Sorry, I had to go on Google this because this was also a really helpful thing. It was uh, uh, the Alexander Technique. Uh, I only did a few classes on it, but uh, they explained how heavy your head is, actually. And, and, and I think it's uh, three litres uh, of water is the equivalent. If you pick that up, that's how kind of how heavy your head is. And, uh, you know, when you realise that you're folding your head down and supporting your weight like that, it's, it, it's no wonder that you end up with neck problems. So that's the other one to check out, as well as going to see a professional who's involved with posture, if you, if you, especially if you've got problems or if you feel, you know, you've got a history of it in your family and you want to uh, get into a bit of preventative therapy, um, either going to see an osteopath or checking out somebody who does Alexander Technique for musicians. Again, I'll stick some links uh, up on the web page there for both of those things. So uh, I hope that helps you uh, maintain health and it might even save you thousands of uh, pounds or dollars or whatever uh, your local currency is in, uh, in bills for uh, chiropractors or osteopaths or physio, all that sort of stuff. So sit up straight when you practice and uh, you'll feel a whole lot better for it. I'll see you for plenty more tips and tricks and songs and stuff very soon. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.